Today on The Joy of Editing, I want to do an upscaling comparison between Topaz Photo AI and the all-new Topaz Gigapixel AI version 7. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today, I'll be doing an upscaling and enhancing comparison between Topaz Photo AI and the all-new Topaz Gigapixel AI version 7. Now, I do want to say this up front. If you need a product to do sharpening, denoising, and upscaling, Photo AI is the product for you. And if you need a product just for upscaling, then that would be Topaz Gigapixel AI version 7. Topaz Gigapixel AI version 7 was designed for upscaling and enhancing only. Photo AI is designed to do not only upscaling and enhancing, but it also sharpens, denoises, and it does some other things as well, which I won't get into today because I have other videos on my YouTube channel going over those different features. Now on the screen right now on the left, you can see the Topaz Photo AI interface, and on the right, you can see the Topaz Gigapixel AI interface. They're very similar type interfaces, but again, they're entirely two different products. On the screen right now, you're seeing screenshots from Photo AI and Gigapixel AI, their interfaces. And what I want you to look at here is the AI models. If you'll notice, Photo AI has six AI models and Gigapixel has eight AI models. Now, all six AI models found in Photo AI are also found in Gigapixel AI. However, Gigapixel has two extra AI models, and that would be lines and very compressed. Eventually, those may come into Photo AI, but they're not there yet. Now, I do want to say the lines and very compressed models are two models that I very rarely use. And let me know in the comments section below if you use those and you think they're valuable and do you think they should come over to Photo AI. They're not there yet, but who knows, maybe they'll come over if enough people request them. I also want to point out ArtCG in Gigapixel AI, I believe is the same as graphics in Photo AI. I'm almost 100% on that. But if you know I'm wrong on that, please let me know about it in the comments section below. Now it's time to do some pixel peeping and seeing the differences between Photo AI and Gigapixel AI. Now I'll show you how I sent my images into Gigapixel and Photo AI right here from Photoshop to get my test results. Now you can use these products, both Gigapixel and Photo AI, as standalone apps, but I like to work out of Photoshop and I'll show you how I do it here. This first image is an AI generated image using Adobe Firefly because it's very important when you have art generated from AI creators like Midjourney and Firefly that you have to upsize them, especially if you want to make prints. And then I also have two photographs, one of a landscape and one of a person, but I'll just be demonstrating how to send this image into Photo AI and Gigapixel AI. The others will just see the test results. We'll do some pixel peeping and I'll give you an idea of how long it took from both products. Okay, so that'll be coming up. But first, let's go ahead and send this image into, let's go to Photo AI first. Now, whenever you want to upsize with either Photo AI or Gigapixel AI, you don't come up to filter and launch it that way. What you need to do is come up to file and find automate and then you're going to look for either Topaz Gigapixel AI or Photo AI. I'll be doing Photo AI first, so I'm going to click on Topaz Photo AI and we'll launch Photo AI. And here we are in Photo AI. I'm in the side-by-side -side view. We have different views. You know, we have a single view. You can do a split screen view. But I'm going to use the side-by-side -side view today. So the image on the right is the upsized and enhanced image or the upscaled and enhanced, however you like to say it. Image on the left would be the original. Now, right now, it's upscaling 1.7 times. That's because I have my preferences set up to do it that way. Let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to click right here. It opens up this area right here. Let's call it a panel. And you'll notice it's at 1.7. But what I want to do is upscale it four times, or I could go up to six times if I wanted to. I'm going to click 4x for four times. And now it's going to enhance it, and you can see that's how long it takes right there. Okay, so the image on the right, again, is the upscaled and enhanced. The image on the left would be what it looks like without upscaling and enhancement. Now, if I zoom into, say, 200%, the image on the left, you can see the pixelization. It's just zoomed up but it's not upscaled or enhanced the image on the right is 
enhanced and upscaled. You'll notice I'm on low resolution. That is what Autopilot has suggested, which I tried the different models out here. I tried graphics, low resolution, high fidelity, and standard, and I'm not going to get real deep here, but I recommend that you try these different models, especially like low resolution, high fidelity, and standard. But as I said, Autopilot has chosen low resolution. It felt it was the best. But if you hover over right here, the little eye for information, you see the tip here, high fidelity and standard are best for AI generated images. This is an AI generated image. So therefore I did try standard. I tried high fidelity and I liked standard the best out of the three of those. And I even tried graphics and again, I felt standard version two was the best. Now standard version one and high fidelity version one are the old standard and high fidelity models. I personally don't use the version one models anymore. I'm just using mainly standard version two. It's my favorite. Rarely I'll use high fidelity version two, sometimes low resolution if I have a low res JPEG that I need to upscale and enhance. In my test results, you'll see a very low res file that I used standard version two on. However, I really like standard version two a lot of the time. As I said, I'm zoomed into 200% and it does pay to move around your image and just to study different parts, just to see if you're totally satisfied and just to make sure you don't have any kind of weird artifacts and things like that. So this is low resolution. And like I told you, I decided on standard version two. So let's click on standard version two and see that looks more natural to me compared to low resolution version two. It just looks a little crunchy over sharpened. But when I go to standard version two, it looks really good. And don't forget, I'm in side by side view. So the image on the left is the original image just blown up, not upscaled. So you can see the pixelization and what it looks like. It's not enhanced, but the image on the right is enhanced and upscaled. And now let me go to say like 100%. Let me click on 100%. Give it a second here to render and now it's rendered and yeah that looks really good it looks like a piece of art and don't forget you have these other controls minor denoise deblur as well as fixed compression that you can adjust these sliders if needed but i'm happy with everything i'm just going to click save to adobe photoshop i'll cut the video right here but when i compare gigapixel to photo ai i'll give you the actual timing for each of the products and now here we are back in Photoshop with our image upscaled. And next I'll show you how I do this in Gigapixel. And then after that, we'll compare the results I got for three different images with Gigapixel and Topaz Photo AI. And I'll let you know how long it took to save each one of the images between the two different products, Gigapixel and Photo AI. For either Gigapixel or Photo AI, you don't have to duplicate your background layer. Just come up to File go to automate and in this case I'm going to click on Topaz Gigapixel AI and we'll launch it. And here we are inside of Gigapixel. If you want like auto settings, see this switch right here? I can click this on and just like in Photo AI it shows low resolution, right? But in my case I wanted standard version 2, so I want to keep these tests the same, so I'm going to use the same model standard version 2. And if you'll note under settings, I have the auto settings set here by clicking this on. And it's giving me the exact same amounts here for minor denoise, minor de blur, and fixed compression. That is 47, 35, and 68. So that's very interesting. Right now, my size is upsized to 2.79. Just like the other image, I'm going to click on 4x to upsize it four times. And if we look down here, you can see the image will be 10. 752 by 6144 pixels, just like the photo AI image. Right now, all of my settings are the same as Topaz Photo AI, so we can make a good comparison test. So this is all I'm going to do here. I'm not going real deep into Gigapixel AI, because remember, this is a comparison video. But note that we have these extra two models in here, lines and very compressed, which Photo AI doesn't have, by the way. So now let me go ahead and click Save to Photoshop, and then I'll cut the video, and then we'll do the comparisons. And now for the comparisons. Now here's the first image, the Firefly AI image, and then I have two others to show you, and they're already done. So let's take a look here. This is Topaz Photo AI. The AI model was standard version two, upscaled four times. The save time was 
32.93 seconds. It was actually 5.68 seconds faster than Gigapixel AI. And here's the original file size, 2688 by 1536 pixels, upscaled to 10752 by 6144 pixels. Now, this is the Topaz Photo AI upsized image. Now, let me go ahead and zoom into 100% so we can really get a look here. And we could look around the image. And as you can see, it looks really, really good. Now, if I zoom into 200%, you can see what it looks like. Now, if I shut this layer off, you can see what the image looks like upscaled with Photo AI, but not enhanced. So it would look like this. And this is what it looks like after it's enhanced. So it looks really, really good. And I'm really happy with it. Okay. So let's stay right here. And now let's turn on the Gigapixel layer and see what it looks like in comparison. And see if you see a difference when I turn this layer on. So here's Gigapixel right now. I don't see any difference whatsoever. Let's go to a different spot, like down here, and take a look. Let me shut Gigapixel off. This is Topaz Photo AI, and now I'll turn Gigapixel on. This is Gigapixel. No difference whatsoever. And now for this Gigapixel AI 7 version, again, everything was the same. Standard version 2, upscale four times. The only difference here was it's 5.68 seconds slower than Photo AI. So Photo AI wins it on the speed test here, but they're very close. And now for the second comparison test, this is a landscape image. This image is a JPEG photo and the Firefly image was a JPEG photo as well. All these images were JPEGs, by the way. This is Topaz Photo AI. Now I use the standard version two model again because that's the one that looked the best. It's upscaled four times. The save time in this was 52.06 seconds. It's actually 14.65 seconds faster than Gigapixel AI, so it's a bit faster in the save time. Now, the original file size was 3427 by 1928 pixels, upscaled to 13708 by 7712 pixels. Now, this is Topaz Photo AI. This is just upscaled, but not enhanced when you look right here. Let me go ahead and zoom into 100% so we can really get a look around here. So as you'll notice here, you can see it's not enhanced. Now, let me go ahead and turn on the enhanced layer right here. And look at that. It looks really, really good. So we can look around here. And I got really great results here. Okay. And now I'll turn on the gigapixel layer. But right now you're still seeing the photo AI result. So take a close look. I'm turning it on right now. Do you see any difference whatsoever? I really can't see a difference. Let me shut this off again. Back to photo AI. And now back to gigapixel. So in my opinion, they look identical to me. Again, I'll shut off Gigapixel, that's Photo AI, and back again there is Gigapixel. And this image was standard version 2, the same as the Photo AI version, upscaled four times. The save time, however, was 66.71 seconds, and it is 14.65 seconds slower than Photo AI. So again, Photo AI wins the speed test here. It's a little bit quicker. And next up is a portrait photo. Another JPEG, Topaz Photo AI. The AI model I used again was standard version two. Now take a look here, the original file size, this is super small, 640 by 853 pixels, very tiny, upscaled to 3840 by 5118 pixels. So that was upscaled six times. The save time was under 10 seconds for both Photo AI and Gigapixel AI, so they were both very close there on the time. Now I did try to use the low resolution model on here, but I found that standard version two, even on this very small image worked out perfectly. I had the best result. And also take note, I had face recovery on for both photo AI as well as gigapixel AI. And by the way, this is what that image looks like at 100%. As you can see, it is a very small image. Now, I went ahead and zoomed into the upscaled image to 100%. Now, this is 
without any enhancement whatsoever, okay? And this is what it looks like after Topaz Photo AI enhancement right here. So as you can see, it looks really good. Now we can look around at different parts of the image. And I'm using face recovery, and I didn't put it on the hair or the neck, just the face itself. And we can look at different parts of the image, and it looks really, really good. Now let me go ahead and turn on the Gigapixel version. This is Gigapixel. And it looks very similar to me to the other version. And we'll look down in here as well. So there you go. A great job. But very similar results. And now just to finish up, I have three more examples to show you. This will be fast. I have this low resolution model because I've only showed you standard version two. So let me compare Gigapixel to Topaz Photo AI. Okay, so let me go ahead and zoom into 100%. And right now you're seeing the image without enhancement. And this is what it looks like with Topaz Photo AI with the low resolution model. Again, I didn't like it because it looked too crunchy, but I just want to compare that to the result I got from Gigapixel. So now let me turn on Gigapixel. And as you can see, it's pretty much identical. That's Photo AI, this is Gigapixel. So I'm getting the same result. This is the low res model, as I said, and Gigapixel as well as Photo AI recommended it, but I thought it was too crunchy, as you can see here. That's why I chose standard version two, which is usually my go-to model. And here's that same image with Topaz Photo AI using the Graphics AI model and Topaz Gigapixel AI using the Art Graphic AI model, which I believe is the same model. I zoomed into 100% looking at a different part of the image. Now again, this is just upscaled without enhancement. And now let's look at it with Topaz Photo AI. So here's Photo AI. This is what it looks like after it's enhanced. And remember, this is the graphics model. And then this is what it looks like with Gigapixel with the art graphic model. And as you can see, if I shut this off, that's Photo AI, this is Gigapixel. They look the same to me. And even if we look over at different parts of the image, and again, I wasn't a big fan of this model. I like standard version too. But again, here's Gigapixel and here is Topaz Photo AI. Basically the same results. And now the final example, and both of these images will be in the high fidelity version two AI model for both Gigapixel and Photo AI. So let me go ahead and zoom into 100% again, and we're gonna go down in this area here. And this is upscaled, but it has no enhancement yet. Now, here is Photo AI, I'll turn it on. This is the Photo AI enhancement. And that looks pretty good, actually. Very close to standard version two. And now let me turn on Gigapixel AI. This is Gigapixel AI. And again, the results are the same in my opinion. Let's go to a different part of the image. And let's go back to Topaz Photo AI. That's Topaz Photo AI. This is Gigapixel. Again, Photo AI and Gigapixel and they look the same to me, but in my testing standard version two was the best. I believe I said this earlier, but whenever I save out an image using high fidelity version two, the save times are always considerably longer. And if that's the same for you, let me know in the comments section below if you're having longer save times with high fidelity version two. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this upscaling comparison between Topaz Photo AI and Topaz Gigapixel AI version 7. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click the bell notification. Click all so that you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I will see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing.